Hello everyone and welcome to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new to the channel, but if you're a part of the almost 70,000 of y'all who've hit that subscribe button, welcome in, welcome back. We got a lot to talk about because if you have not seen the breaking news, Xbox is dropping the parody clause for Baldur's Gate 3. So out at Gamescom, uh, apparently the uh, Larian CEO and Microsoft got together, uh, had a couple of drinks and said, what the hell? Let's just go ahead and bring Baldur's Gate 3 to the Xbox platform this year. What this ultimately means is what we're gonna discuss in this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Any and all, please sound off in the comments because I have been a staunch defender of the Xbox Series X and honestly, the parody clause didn't bother me. But the engineer in here, the software engineer especially, uh, is like, yeah, split screen is tough. And that's really where this, I think, begins and ends. The question, I guess, to you guys, what your theory here is, is that will we see other, you know, compromises and more? And does that then drive down the value of the Xbox Series S? Now, I enjoy the Xbox ecosystem. If you've been following my channel for any period of time, I am console agnostic. I think what Microsoft has been doing with the Series X and S outside of their horrible naming convention, ultimately, is a good entry point into this generation's architecture. The S takes a lot of crap because a lot of people don't understand engineering and architecture, but that's the way the internet and that's the way the console wars work. I can't fix it, so we're not gonna try. But what this does mean for me though, is one of two things. Either the resources and optimization uh, required to get split screen to work on the S were either just too much or the time to deliver that would have just taken too long. I'm actually quite interested and it's interesting that Microsoft went ahead and changed this because a big part of their marketing strategy, if you go look at the original videos, we're talking about feature parity and I consider split screen a feature. I don't consider textures, I don't consider resolution a feature, and that's what they kind of clarified is the difference between the S and the X is essentially that of a resolution and a kind of a textured-based approach with a really customer-friendly price point to enter into this generation of gaming. However, this kind of truly changes that fundamental relationship because, and while the legal legalities of it all were in the video, if you go actually watch it, you'll see like, you know, that, that lawyer text kind of pop up. Oh, if, if developers decide to do this, et cetera, uh, you know, is kind of one thing that I think will probably be their saving grace in terms of like, listen, like, could they have done it? Yes. But is it more important to have Baldur's Gate 3 on the Xbox platform this year? Honestly, I think it's a win. I think it's a win for everybody who wants to play Baldur's Gate 3, which you should absolutely take some time to play this game. It is, it's insanity, just the level of detail. But then also what this gives them is the ability to have Starfield as a launch and then be able to market Baldur's Gate 3 as a upcoming launch later this year. Now, later this year is a pretty small road. Starfield is less than a week away from early access. And then beyond Starfield, then we're talking about October, November, and December. And it's really rough to usually launch a game in December because you, like a lot of people forget about the human resources of it. Like imagine you wanting to go spend time with your family over the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays and being told like, sorry, <laughs> we got to launch this game. And it doesn't necessarily make for a great working condition. And I think what we were seeing within uh, Larian as the studio, at least from a public facing and all the reports and all the conversations around it, is that it's a good place to work, that they want to encourage that uh, within their employees, which means you're going to attract the best employees. The employees are going to have a good relationship with the work. And I think basically you get a better product and maybe that's the big shift. Maybe that's where we can go with this and hopefully build out an even better gaming future all over the place. Anyway, I thought this was interesting. That's my perspective here. And at the end of the day, like it feels strange because this in and of itself has been a key defining issue, especially with split screen. A lot of people wish for split screen. I know that it's when it's available in games, we, we take advantage of it as a family. Um, but when it comes down to what Baldur's Gate 3 does, like it makes sense to say, like, does all of Xbox uh, you know, need to sit here and wait for the Series S. And in this case, Split Screen will be working on the Series X. The Series S will just have to drop that feature. And right now, at this time, there's no word 
whether that's going to be added in the future with proper optimization. But again, I leave the question to you. That's just my thoughts. I don't want to waste your time here. I thought this was interesting information to share. I'd love to read what you got to say about it. But that's going to wrap it up for this short, sweet, hopeful, enjoyable video for you guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this kind of content here. Otherwise, I will hopefully see you in the next video. But until then, take care.